مش مورقا ذيك شاكو ishirini na mbili jaji huyo alimwagiza bwana Gachagua kulikabidhi eh, serikali jumla ya shilingi milioni mbili na mbili alizodai zilitokana na ufisa jaji huyo alisema kuwa bwana Gachagua alishindwa kueleza ili alivyopata bwana Gachagua alikuwa akihudumu kama mbunge wa eneo bunge la Mathira eh, lakini wa Kenya wenye malalamishi wanafaa kuhamas Uh, kuyawasilisha uh, ni nawarai wa Kenya wenye nia kuungana nami alhamisi ili kuwasilisha malalamiko hayo pia nasema kwamba wa Kenya wenye malalamishi pia waungane naye siku hiyo ya alhamisi uh, kwenda uh, kuelezea uh, au kwenda ku, kuungana naye pamoja katika hiyo mahakama na kujua nini ambacho haswa kinajiri uh, katika mahakama kulikuwa na video ambayo mheshimiwa Gadi Gachagua anaonekana eh, akiongea hivyo ah, kama kitapatikana basi tutajua namna gani ambapo ah, tutaweza kukuplay hapo uweze kuona lakini taarifa hiyo kwa kina inasema kuwa jaji huyo alisema kuwa bwana Gachagua alishindwa kueleza vilivyo pesa hizo wapi alipata wakati huo huo bwana Gachagua alikuwa akihudumu kama mbunge wa eneo bunge la Mathira lakini vile vile wa Kenya wenye malalamishi wanafaa kuyawasilisha nina warai wa Kenya wenye nia kuungana nami Alhamis ili kuwasilisha malalamiko hayo pia alisema hivyo bwana mheshimiwa Ricardo Gachagua ambapo mamlaka ya kutoa mali ara e, ilifanya uchunguzi wa kina kuhusu shilingi bilioni 7.3 zilizokuwa zimetumwa ama kutoka katika akaunti hizo hiyo ndio taarifa ambaye namhusisha mheshimiwa Rigathi Gachagua siku ya Alhamis eh, atakuwa na eh, ataelekea huko katika mahakama hiyo na tunayo video hii bila shaka na hiyo video ambayo inaonyesha mheshimiwa Rigathi Gachagua akizungumza kwa uchungu juu ya swala hilo. Hii hapa video ambayo mheshimiwa Rigathi Gachagua akizungumzia swala hilo la Alhamis kuandamana na mawakili wake kuelekea katika kesi hiyo. Kigoranon Simani Arabi Shongwa unajua mimi uh, her ladyship chief justice ambie wa Kenya how many complaints have been filed against the judicial officers how many she has dealt with and what is the timeline to conclude those petitions it's important i may challenge sisi to toe ushahidi i will lead by example on thursday this coming week at 2:15 I'll personally present a petition before Lady Chief Justice Mother Kome against Justice Esther Maina for her removal from the judiciary for misconduct and corruption. Mimi mwenyewe ni nitaongoza. Because Eh, sasa unajua sasa si ametuuliza. Sasa tuko tayari mimi ndio nitaongoza kwa executive. Huyo judge through corruption declared my hard and worth wealth proceeds of crime without giving me an opportunity to be heard again is the rules of evidence where he who alleges must prove we made an application to cross examine the investigator akakata kwa sababu anajua there is no case na evidence tuko nayo vile ilifanyika so 2:15 on Thursday my lawyers are preparing mimi mwenyewe because he has challenged us i think now tufanye kazi sasa si tufanye kazi eh bali sasa tumefika ni, rai, ni sawa ni rais you know we were president when you came you are very kind to the judiciary and the way mheshimiwa hapa amesema to teach lsk when President Uhuru through impunity refused to appoint judges. They never said anything. When DCI was carrying out extrajudicial killings in this country, they were quiet. When the leader of opposition said he'll mobilize a million people against the judiciary, they were absent. Sasa ndio wako pale. So wacha na nauliza wa Kenya wengine wale wote wako na petitions 
against judges those who may want to join me on Thursday to peleke pamoja pale supreme court tuanze kupeleka aanze ku process na tueleze zile amepata ni ngapi amefikisha wapi because he has invited us that is the forum tutatumia ndio hii Kenya yetu iweze kutembea sawa sawa tumekubaliana watu ya Alba mara kwetu tumekubaliana so sisi tuko na shukurani kwenu you really supported the president and I and we are entirely very grateful na sisi mkituita hapa tutakuja mapema ile tu nimeona na ma hiyo ni taarifa ya makamu wa rais mheshimiwa Rigathi Gachagua katika kuelekea siku ya tarehe 18 mwezi huo 11 mwezi huo kwanza mwaka 2022 wapi basi ni mahakamani kule mwezi eh, kuelezea na kuendelea kule na kufanya yale ambayo yanajiri katika taifa letu hususan kile mheshimiwa makamu wa rais ameweka wazi kwamba yeyote yule mwenye kuguswa na hilo yoyote yule mwenye kutaka kushirikiana naye yoyote yule mwenye ku, uh, kuona kuna jambo lolote lina shida basi aongozane naye kwa hiyo yanaweza yakatokea uh, maandamano baridi unaweza tukasema hivyo sio rasmi sijatangaza rasmi kwamba ni kuna maandamano yanaweza yakatokea maandamano baridi kwa maana yule msafara ukiwa na watu zaidi ya mia basi kutakuwa na maandamano baridi kuelekea mahakamani na kueleza kile ambacho kinajiri na kueleza yale ambayo yanatokea katika taifa leto la Kenya na mwisho siku basi chochote ambacho kitatokea basi mheshimiwa eh, makamu wa rais atatuweka wazi hiyo siku huko ile taarifa ambayo inahusiana na kambi ya jeshi ya Moi kuhamishiwa Kerio Vale kukabiliana na majangili hiyo taarifa tuko nayo na hapa na kama kutakuwa na video basi baadaye kidogo utaplaywa video hapo eh, naomba producer uiandae kabisa hiyo video hapo lakini hii taarifa kwa kina inasema kuwa kambi ya jeshi E, moi kuhamishiwa Kerio Valley kukabiliana na majangili huku taarifa kwa kina nasema kuwa rais William Ruto Jumapili Januari 14 mwaka 2024 alitangaza kuhamisha au kuhamishiwa kwa kambi ya mafunzo ya jeshi la Kenya KDF kutoka Eldoret hadi katika bonde la Kerio kama njia ya kukabiliana na wizi wa mifugo ukanda ule wa kaskazini mwa bonde la Uf